At the peak of Manipur violence, R.K. Ranjan's house was set on fire by miscreants. Now that Lok Sabha elections is round the corner, R.K. Ranjan along with BJP President A. Sharda Devi are being named as the probably BJP candidates from inner Manipur Lok Sabha constituency. R.K. Ranjan shared his thoughts on the way forward for violence hit Manipur. Here is an exclusive interview with Union Minister of Education and External Affairs, Dr. R.K. Ranjan. Right now, we have with me uh, Minister of Education, uh, Minister, uh, Union Minister of Education and External Affairs, uh, uh, R.K. Ranjan. Uh, as we all know, Manipur had gone through trouble times in the uh, last 10 months. Uh, so let's know some thought of, uh, from the minister himself. Uh, sir, uh, uh, this has been a tough days for uh, everyone in Manipur for last uh, 10 uh, months. Uh, but, uh, particularly you uh, being a union minister from the state, uh, you face constant pressure both from uh, uh, every quarter, I mean. So uh, even your own house has been built down with some miscreants. Uh, first of all, how do you deal with all the constant pressure you face? Uh, and secondly, what is the way forward, sir? Yeah. I, uh, perhaps uh, mo most of the media houses might have well aware that I was the first person among the Council of Ministers as well as the representatives of the peoples of Manipur. Uh, I, just after the 3rd May, I wrote a letter to the Prime Minister and to the Home Minister uh, to send, seize the violence by uh, providing extra uh, security personnel to the state of Manipur. They provide it. And even in, during those days, the state government announced for ex here for the life loss was only five lakhs. And I requested the, the government of India through Prime Minister and Home Minister to increase it. They increased it up to 10 lakhs. And over and above, life, uh, property loss and damages has to be compensated. That also compensated. And even I requested to form a Capiz Committee. That also constituted. Whatever I said and I request on behalf of the people of Manipur to seize the violence, the government of India timely acted. However, uh, the, still the problem is lingering. Of course, it is subside, but few occasional cases are still in some of the remote part. And for this, uh, lately I request to the Prime Minister also to use some of the civil organization, time-tested civil organizations who were accepted by both the communities of the hills as well as from the valleys and including the religious leaders should go and make people to people uh, con uh, the, the conversation. See, you know, in these modern times, bullets and guns cannot bring peace. Only the people's to people dialogues and creating understanding, it will solve the problem. And I requested the Honorable Prime Minister and also Honorable Union Home Minister to create such atmosphere. Perhaps they are in the process to bring the peace. Sir, uh, the, 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 the election is approaching, uh, as Lok Sabha election is approaching. Uh, how do you think the prospect of BJP in Manipur? Sir? See, uh, BJP particularly, we are not working only for elections. We are working for the betterment, for the welfare of the peoples. Right from the 10 years ruling of the Prime Minister Modi, he has given more than 190 social welfare scheme. And we are directly delivering to the beneficiaries. And people know that BJP is working for the people, for the development, and for the vibration of the nations. And that's why uh, the peace-loving peoples and those who have, have seen the progress of development. As, as you know, in the northeastern India, how many times Prime Minister visit? More than 66 times. Is there any Prime Minister of India visited to northeast India? It shows the importance of the India government, importance of the BJP's Prime Minister to look after the northeast, especially for the people of Manipur also. Perhaps you might have recalled that in his first term as a Prime Minister, without any demand from Manipur, he allocated for the National Sports University. And that's why he has a good impression to us. And he thought that Manipur, even his uh, the 2014 election campaign, as predicted by his uh, the advisor, he started from Manipur. So with this 
BJP and Prime Minister in his mind. He loved the people of Manipur, he loved the culture of Manipur, and perhaps people will feel the sense of the Prime Minister and the process of development, and certainly in this coming election, if the people wanted to continue the progress and development and benefit uh, reaching to the uh, needy peoples, certainly people will cast vote and I have a full confidence in this Lok Sabha election, BJP will win in Manipur, both from the outer as well as from the inner. Sir, uh, will you consider yourself as a candidate or it's totally up to the party? Uh, I said uh, it's up to the party. Let the party decide it.